right now we're not seeing an, a significant increase in the number of cases. However, if we're looking at what is happening elsewhere, particularly in Ontario, we're thinking that it's probably just a question of days, maximum a question of weeks. Yes, for the time being, we have resisted for a longer time than elsewhere. However, there is a risk, according to the experts, that is more significant this week than it was last week, that there is going to be a significant increase of cases in the Montreal area amongst other regions. And that is why today we wish to bring new measures that are really preventive. There is no one that can say with certainty where we'll be in a week or two, but we really wish to act in a preventive way by adding measures and restrictions in red zones and orange zones. Public health is telling us that the places that worry them the most are the schools, sports, places of worship, homes. And so we've tried to look at the measures that should be set. The red zones, well, we have our four new uh, regions, so the National Capital Area, the Outaouais, the Lower St. Lawrence, and Chaudière-Appalaches. And we also have the regions that were already red, that is Montreal, Laval, Laurentians, La Nodière, and the Montérégie. So I'm announcing that in those red zones, as of Monday next, we are going to be coming back to alternates in secondary three, four, and five. That means that students are going to go to school one day out of two. Also, public health is asking us to cancel extracurricular activities. So as of Monday next, and as of Thursday of this week, we're also going to limit sports activities held inside. We're going to be closing down gyms in red zones, and we're going to be limiting the number of people in places of worship to 25, still in red zones I'm talking about here. In orange zones now, public health is giving us a series of recommendations that we're following. Amongst others, there are two that are important. We are going to be making masks mandatory even in primary schools in the first years. I know that certain parents were worried of the impact in young children, but I can tell you that we already are doing it in red zones and it's going very well. As far as places of worship are concerned, in orange zones, it's going to go from 250 down to 100. And that's where we'll stop for the time being for the time being. There is, however, another measure that is important. It's to remind everybody of what is happening in people's homes. When we changed the curfew from 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m., we saw a very significant increase of gatherings in people's homes, as if because the curfew was at 9.30 p.m. rather than 8 p.m., it was now allowed to go visit people at their friends' Uh, or families' homes. That is still forbidden. 